Tonight they have to face Freddie Peralta, who picked up a win. His first start of the year against the Mets. Really good work. Only one run, one hit. It was a homer. And JP Crawford catches a bit of a break there. That was on the edge. Contreras is waiting for a strike three to be called. Leadoff man on for Seattle, and now it's Julio Rodriguez hitting 185 in the early going. There's a strikeout, and Peralta. Sticks the fastball right down the middle. Rodriguez caught guessing, and Freddie's first out is a backwards K. Jorge Polanco, the former twin, hits against Freddie. Swing and a miss. Peralta gasses him up with a fastball. Two men are out here in the first. Two and one. Hanniger gets sawed off. Peralta, he says he's got it. Sometimes they let the pitcher catch those pop ups. Logan Gilbert will try his best to keep them off the base paths, making his second start of the year. A 373 ERA for Logan last year, 13 game winner, and 190 and two thirds, 189 strikeouts for Logan. Of a funky swing and a skimmer out to Polanco, and two pitches, one away. And that was on the slider. And here's catcher William Contreras. Fly ball out towards Julio with plenty of room. Two quick outs. Here's Christian Yelich. Gilbert's 2 2. He locked him up. Career strikeout number 500 for Logan Gilbert. Now flies out. One on and one away. Now it's Luke Rayleigh. Go 200 innings this year. A swing at a miss. Rayleigh is strikeout victim number three for Peralta. Two outs, Garber at second base with a leadoff double. Here's Dom Canzone. Yeah, swing and a miss. He got him with a breaking ball. For two more K's for Freddie Peralta. And Willie Adamas, Milwaukee shortstop, leads it off. But for a number three rock, it gives you an idea of how good Mariners' rotation is as Adamas goes opposite field. It is up and gone. And Bernie will hit that slide. Willie Adamas puts the Brewers on the board. First home run of the year for Adamas. Well, you love to see him go in the right field like that. He hit that a ton. Second deck out there in right. Opposite field. Boy, what a swing he put on that pitch. Very nice. First one's got to feel good for Adamas. One out of run in. Here's the new man in town, Reese Hoskins. And the one two on the way. Check swing. Does he go? Yes, he does. Strike three. And there is career strikeout number 501 and counting for Logan. And here is Sal Friedlich. Hits sharply in the left center. Freelick with a base hit. Yeah, he's starting to get hot. Here's third baseman Joey Ortiz. In a two strike count here. Freelick takes off and he is going to swipe it without a throw. He picked the right pitch to run on Rock, a splitter, and Freelick with a stolen base. Brewers got an Adamas homer to start the inning, trying to add to it. And that ball's driven to right field. On his way back, Hanniger cannot get it. Freelick will score and a belly flop double for Joey Ortiz. Two to nothing Brewers in the second inning. Boy, how about the approach this inning? Opposite field up the middle with Sal Freelick. Ortiz hammers this one. Fastball right down the middle. So Hattinger retreat back to the fence, not able to get there, and a big two out base hit. A double for Ortiz to drive in a run. If the Mariners can get going here, they trail two nothing here in Milwaukee. You're adding details as Peralta. Strikes out Josh Rojas. His fifth K makes it three in a row going back to last inning. Two quick outs here. And you face Julio Rodriguez. He deals. And he got him. He went back to the slider. Rodriguez couldn't lay off. There is out number one. There is Oliver Dunn. That ball's hit well. Right field. Oliver Dunn is going to watch this one fly. How about it? His first big league homer. Oliver Dunn makes it three to nothing. What a moment for him as he rounds the bags at American Family Field. He's in the book. That's yeah, got to feel good, right? Boy, he hammered that. Fastball right down the middle. Didn't miss it. I'd smile too, buddy. Silent treatment for your first big league homer. Special moment. 413 feet. All right, let's see if this is going to be the inning. Mariners are trailing 3 0, top of the six in a very fast moving game. Freddie Peralta pitches to J.B. Crawford, and he hits it. Left side through the six hole in the left field. Base hit, second hit this evening for the Mariners. And Julio gets scraped. Mariners stack some base runners. We'll see how Freddie Peralta attacks Mitch Hanniger. Hard hit on the ground and through. 
Crawford being waved home. He rounds third. The throw is cut off, and Mitch Hanniger delivers in the sixth inning and puts the Mariners on the board. 3-1 Milwaukee. And for Mitch, he gets the fastball to his liking. That's in off the plate also, but able to keep it fair. Hitting it hard into left field to pick up an RBI. Hard contact for Hanniger his last two times up. This time it pays off for a hit. They're right back in it, down by two. They got the tie and runs aboard and the go ahead run at the plate right now. And Mitch Garber. One, two. Julio breaking for third and Hanniger into second. 390 feet for the Mariners. 2 2 to Garber. T shot, center field. Freelick is there to make the catch. Julio tags. He can easily score. Hanniger motors into third. It's a sacrifice fly off the bat of Mitch Garber, and suddenly it's a one run game. There's Cal Raleigh. And Cal can get a clutch two out here. Hammered. Right field, driven back, and it short hops the wall. Cal Raleigh on his first swing of the AB ties the game at three in the sixth inning. 110 off the bat, scalded by Cal Raleigh. Take a look at that swing. Solid line drive on a fastball up at the top of the zone. Peralta was an absolute cruise control over five. Third time through the order, the Mariners get to him, and we have got a brand new ball game. Brian Hudson, a six foot eight left hander, takes over on the mound, and Scott Service counters pitch hitter Dylan Moore. Well, that was behind him. And Scott Service is holding his hand up to see if that ball hit Dylan Moore or not. And Dylan Moore will take first base. Well, there's Samad Taylor. And the one two bouncing ball. Nice easy hop for Hoskins. And that will retire the side. But a great inning as they tie it up. One down here in the sixth. There's Kristen Yelich. See if he can get a hold of one right here. Yelich, a high drive. Way back in the right. Goodbye. Four to three Brewers on a bomb from Yelich. That is one of the longest he's hit here. 431 feet. That's Prince Fielder territory up there. Upper deck down the lining right on a hanging slider. My goodness. On a 1 1 pitch. Number three for Yelly. Yelich breaks the tie. Brewers lead once again. But right now, the Brewers have two on and two outs. And now we'll see Dunn to hit against Stanek. Stanek deals and a shot. Oh, and it eats up Crawford. In the center field it goes. Contreras scores. A rocket off the bat of Dunn. Yeah. It's five to three, Milwaukee. That's got to be a base hit. It looked like that one took a little bit of a bad hop, but he hit that one right on the screws. A big two out run scoring base hit. Boom comes up on him. Got to give that a hit. As hard as he hit it, smoked it. Crawford had no chance here. It just ate him up. Numbers really good for Uribe. He got the stuff. Got the bottom of the order coming up. This is Dylan Moore. Mariners out of their final three outs. Hit hard into center field. Pokes a 99 mile an hour heater into the outfield for a leadoff base hit. Reaching for it, and it's into center field. Dylan Moore makes the turn. He's racing to third base, and Samad Taylor picks up his first base hit as a Mariner. And it comes in the ninth inning and helps set the table. He's at first base. Dylan Moore at third. Arias. Out to the gap. Right center field. Freelich can't get there. Dylan Moore comes home. Taylor runs out from underneath his helmet. It's a ground rule double. It hopped over the fence and came back on the field. And that is a break for the Brewers for sure. It's a one run game. Arias with a shot to center field. And the Mariners are in business. Three hits in a row from the bottom of the order. Puts a charge into that fastball. He'll hit the warning track and bounce over the wall, bounce over that yellow line. Is J.P. Crawford tying run at third? Go ahead, and run at second. Crawford, a little tapper, Uribe. He'll play it, and staying put at third base is Taylor. That's a break. The first out. You do have Julio Rodriguez coming up. Hard hit ground ball. Adamas has it at short on the first for out number two. But Julio has tied this game in the ninth inning. Samad Taylor scores. Uribe blows the save. Sal Freelick will lead off for Milwaukee. And it's ball four. And speed to burn on the bag. Sal Freelick draws the walk. The Brewers have the winning run at first base. Jake Bowers coming off the Milwaukee bench here. Three and two. There goes Freelick. Pitches low and it gets by. So it'll be a walk. Excellent 
A.B. for Bowers. And now the Brewers have the winning run at second base with nobody out. Well, let's see if Bryce Terang is going to be asked to bunt. He shows bunt, and he takes a ball. It was close. Terang is on three consecutive walks. And they are loaded with nobody out in the ninth inning. I tell you, not missing by a whole lot, but they are missing the plate. Top of the order, Jackson Churio. Strike three call, triple digits locks him up. And a critical out number one. Now it's Contreras. One out of the ninth. And it's ball four. A bases loaded walk. And the Brewers will win this game in the ninth. Freelich steps on the plate, and the Brewers pick up their first walk-off of the year. An RBI the easy way for Contreras. I don't think I've ever seen that before.